All right, so Matthew Van der Poel in 2021 had an absolutely outrageous season with some top, top results. So we're gonna go through his sprints, what he did right, what he did wrong, um, and we're gonna go look over some power data. So first up, we have Strada Bianca, where he absolutely battered out of fleet. So you can see here, just 1200 watts straight from the off, absolutely flying up Piazza del Campo, 1100 watts for a long time, and really just super, super strong. And then next up, we have another true classic, which is Ronde van Vlaanderen. Now there's two different ones because he has his first initial attack here on the Eau de Quermont the last time up it, and really just hits like 900 watts here, absolutely hooning it up the Eau de Quermont, 36K an hour up 4% on cobbles and drops everyone. Um, obviously, Kaspar Asgren managed to get back on, but Wout van Aert, no chance. And you can see here, he's like an animal when he attacks. He's just so ferocious and all over the bike. It really is a spectacle to enjoy and then we go to the final sprint which is where we're going to analyze it some more probably but you can see here he goes out really really early hits like 1400 watts it's a super super long sprint and you can see casper Askreen is like staying with him just about and at the end with about 50 meters to go Askreen can just keep the same gas which does beg you the question why he opened up so early which we're going to go into later and the final thing that we're going to go and have a look at in terms of power data because he doesn't upload too many things on strava is e3 so I think the thing to remember with E3 was that, again, he went super, super early, doing like 1400 watts, 1500 watt peak here, absolutely flying. You can see here, no one's coming past him when he's doing this numbers. The issue with Van der Poel, he often goes very early. You can see here, the numbers are starting to drop to 1100. And if you've been sitting in the wheel when he's doing 1500, you're probably doing maybe 13, 1200 watts and comes around him and Seneschal gets second place. Askren is already up the road. So this begs you the question with Van der Poel. Like, why does he always go so early? And I think it's interesting because obviously that's one of his strengths is that he's a really long sprint. But I think sometimes on one-on-one -on -one sprints, which we saw with um, with Van der Poel versus Askren, is if he goes too early, the other guy is like, obviously knackered as well. But like, he can just sit on for a bit and then come around you at the end. And it seems like Van der Poel seems to just often like really die at the end, like literally stop pedaling. I don't know if that's because he knows he's not gonna get the win. It's like, what's the point? Or if he does just on his go too early and overestimates himself. But there's an interesting trend with him because like he is well renowned of that and renowned for that. And obviously on Strada Bianca, he actually did quite well, like attacking Alaphilippe where he did. And then he managed to hold it to the straight section, the flat section, sorry, and then just keep going. And it does, like obviously on that, it's uphill and all the rest of it. So there's less draft and maybe that's why. But you think on paper, he is probably faster than Asgreen and got battered by him. I mean, Seneschal is very quick, but even so, it does beg you the question. And moreover, if you actually look at the power data before he does his sprints, like he does a lot of watts. Like if you're looking at um, Flanders, he was doing like three, 400 watts sometimes in the like in the Flam Rouge when you were like, there was no pressure from behind. It made no sense why he was doing so many watts. So it is interesting how Van der Poel plays the end of it. Obviously there's Amstel Gold, which was an absolute classic race, you know, doing the like a 600 watts for a minute and then doing 1400 watts over the top. And that was an absolutely incredible race as well. And maybe goes to show that like it is worth it sometimes but i think it is a good question like does van der Poel sometimes maybe just overestimate his sprint does he go too early or is it just that he came up against a better person um who like a, just a better rider altogether and was never going to have the gas to compete anyway let me know your comments below like what do you think about van der Poel sprinting does he maybe go too early sometimes or is it just sometimes he has really good legs sometimes not as good legs anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this little quick video and we'll see you in the next one